In addition to teaching and making this crazy YouTube show, um, I've also been doing an experiment called Science Times Rhymes um, to help keep me understanding the modern science that's coming out every day. Because as a science teacher, you're kind of in the classroom teaching, um, and it's nice to be able to interact with scientists and big time science media. So um, the structure is I choose a article from the New York Times science section. Um, I have, I'm, I have to admit I'm often drawn towards Carl Zimmer. Any Carl Zimmer fans in the house? Woo! Science writer, that's right. Carl Zimmer, he's just a great writer. Um, writes mainly about biology, which as you could tell is something I'm quite fond of. And it's kind of a fun activity for me because every single week, article comes out. And this week, I read the article, wrote this in the car from San Francisco. So it's a special, special moment for you. This is... Uh, human evolution as I learned it um, in college. Um, but the, the thing that's kind of complicating this picture um, is that they keep finding more and more of these fossils. And whoever finds it is like, I found a new species. I did it, guys. And they can make a very convincing argument. It might be true. There's a lot of debate, a lot of argument. And for my science students, that's critical to be able to convey that science is not just stuff that's known that it's a constant debate, it's a constant back and forth between people looking for evidence and testing hypotheses, and some of their hypotheses are wrong, and that that's part of the deal. When I say, this tree is so branchy, I'd like you to say, how branchy is it? <laughs> Let's practice that. This tree is so branchy. How branchy is it? The tree is so branchy. How branchy is it? Okay, you get, you get the point. Check. Check. Here we go. This tree is so branchy. The tree is so branchy. This tree is so branchy. Maybe not, and maybe I just got double vision. So many new fossils that they started a boy band. The one with the big jaw, the one with the nice hands, the one with the flat face, the one with the long toes. Like new species every time, every time we find a fossil. Here's the story of the origins of humans. It's got a lot of branching, cause that's evolution. But the branching didn't start till we became homo. Before that, being kind of chimp-like was normal. Like Lucy, her name is quite a doozy. Australopithecus afarensis, sky with diamonds to me. Hominid diversity still wasn't arising till 2.5 million years ago. But the surprise is we're finding more fossils. Lucy's contemporaries, are there new species? Or is this just simple variation? Hold off the coronation, we'll need more fossils and we'll have to be patient Cause the story of hominids will keep on evolving A bone into a puzzle, scientists will keep on solving And that our arms are shorter and our brains are fancier Let's celebrate the tree of life, getting branchier This tree is so branchy How branchy is it? This tree is so branchy How branchy is it? This tree is so branchy How branchy is it? Six million years of evolution isn't that simple, is it? Thank you very much They are literally on